Now let's take a look at doing a backup using Transact SQL. And so what I'm going to do is just write out the Transact SQL. And then I'll point out that what you really need to do is go out to SQL Server Books Online, and I'll show you this. Go out to SQL Books Online and do a search on uh, the uh, Backup Database command. You notice the Backup Database statement. And what you're going to see is that there's quite a bit of information out here on this. And notice, I'm just going to scroll real slowly here. Here's the backup database statement coming down to here. Then they're showing you how to back up specific files or file groups if you're using those. How to back up the transaction log, the backup log statement. And notice all the choices and syntax um, options that you have. Notice here's for truncating the transaction log, and this means to simply clear it out. But notice how much information is out there. about backups and I can't recommend strongly enough that you print this out and read through it and then of course you know, there's plenty of examples print this out read through it glean what you can from it there's a lot of information there so let's type some code first of all we want to use the master you always use a master when you're doing backups I guess I'll need to put a go there now the first thing if you remember in the uh, previous video on backups where I did the backup in the graphical user interface I did the backup both on a dump device or a disk device and not on a disk device. So let me first of all show you if we do a backup database and I do sales to disk equals H also this operating system path must exist. So if you're trying to send it to a particular folder and it's not there it'll have to be there. And so I type this out and I execute it you'll notice that the backup ran and I created a backup file sales.back on the H drive now that's without going to a dump device well let's do it now let me show you how to do a dump device on this we're going to execute a stored procedure that's called whoop, add dump device and we want to add a disk device we need to give it a name and I'll call it mark device now I'll give the operating system for it and the name and so that creates our dump device and then to use the dump device I will let me execute this first and you'll notice I've created my dump device and now I can back up my database and just simply tell it the name of my device and I'll execute just this command by highlighting just that and you'll notice now I backed up my database to that particular device very easy uh, to handle database backups in Transact SQL and so in an upcoming video, I'll show you how to back up the transaction log as well.